Jerry Visca, the publisher of Definers, and welcome to the Difference Makers issue. And we are live with Lori Ann Rogers of Salem, Oregon. Welcome, Lori Ann. Thank you so much, Jerry. Lori Ann, I'm really inspired by the energy of all of your work, everything, your 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 love for others, your love for just for God, for for the gifts that you've been given, and I'm really inspired by sharing with listeners this live interview. And I want to start off with a quote that you share in your profile, and it goes like this. When we all begin unwrapping and living our gifts, we will create an abundance mindset that will bless the world with a magnificent light. I just, I love kicking that off. So, Lorraine, share with us what led you to want to make a difference. Oh, my gosh. Um, Jerry, well, first of all, thank you so much. I just admire you so much. I'm so thrilled to be on this call with you. Loved being able to meet you in person. Mm. As you could tell, I was just filled overflowing with joy. (laughs) Um, So thank you. Um, And what led me to it was um, just a a turning point in my life. I think we have these um, uh, these moments in our life that um, um, where we have kind of a fork in the road and we choose which direction we're going to go. And I was going through um, a difficult time. I was going through a divorce and trying to figure out how I was going to handle that. And um, I wanted to attend a seminar that was being held in Portland, Oregon. And it was a success seminar. And so I immediately signed up for it and um, uh, invited a girlfriend and bought her ticket. And we both went up to it. And at that seminar, um, Christopher Reeve came out on stage. Um, there were quite a few different celebrities that were there. Christopher Reeve was one of them. Of course, we know him as Superman. And this was after his accident. Mm -hmm. So he was completely paralyzed and on a ventilator. And he came out, um, of course, in a wheelchair. And with every um, word that he spoke, which was really quite difficult for him, and every breath um, that he took, he was up on stage inspiring us. And I just, my heart was just so, so filled um, with emotion and feeling like um, I had this wonderful, beautiful life. I was healthy and whole, and uh, sure, I was going through kind of an emotional, emotionally difficult time, but I felt like, oh my gosh, it pales in comparison to what this man has gone through. And even in his um, incredible, um, difficult situation of what life had handed him, he chose to get out and get on stage um, and, and inspire us. And I was so moved by that. I just thought, oh, my gosh, he's taken what's left of his life and um, of course, we knew him as Superman and soaring them in the sky and invincible. And then this um, incredible accident happened, um, and he took this—he um, took his life, what was left of his life—and was out there inspiring people. It so moved me in that moment um, that I just. Um, raised my heart and my hands before God, and and I just said, Lord, I just feel like I've wasted this beautiful, perfect life you've given me, and I, I just haven't done really anything with it. And I just, um, in a very heartfelt moment, said, would you take my life and give it to Christopher Reeve? who is just obviously inspiring 10,000 people and many, many more. Um, And in that moment, I truly expected to just vanish and that Christopher Reeve would be made whole and go on to live an amazing life, making a difference in, in hundreds and millions of people's lives. Now, of course, that didn't happen, but my heart was changed forever. And in that moment, I um, 
as the days after that, I um, really just devoted my life to um, telling the Lord that I really wanted to um, make him first in my life and that I was going to find those gifts that he had planted in me and I was going to live life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. That I wasn't going to waste I wasn't going to waste one moment or one gift that he had given me. Not one cent that comes through my hands, not one gift that he's placed in my heart. Um, in any moment that people cross my paths, I just want to bless um, bless that person with a smile or, um, or love or a hug or um, reach out and give and uh, in whatever way I can. So there's just been a multitude of um, charities and ministries um, that I've been led to give to. Um, I kind of lost track at about 40, 45. Um, I just find take every single moment I have to be a blessing to some way in some form. Um, there's been many things like children, babies with cleft palates, um, many dis- different ministries, um, Smile Train, and just different places that um, that I can bless bless people. So it's just been such such an amazing life um, that I feel like I've really um, unwrapped those gifts that God placed in me and just really sharing them with the world. And what is so amazing about it is in that, in, in, in unwrapping those gifts and sharing them with the world, um, I am more full now, more full with love, more full with joy, more full with abundance in every measure that you could imagine, imagine in every area of my life. I feel so overflowing um, that um, I, I'm just surprised that you could give so much away and, and have this overflow of abundance. Um, because I think the world sort of thinks the opposite. If you give it away, then you'll be without. And it really um, turns out that it's just the opposite. The more you give away in whatever that your gift is and whatever area that is in your life, um, the more you give them away, um, the, w- the richer you get, the wealthier you get. And I truly feel like uh, the, most, uh, the wealthiest person on earth, Jerry. I love that. You know, Lorraine, I I love your heart, and and I just love that your energy is in in this issue of definers. You truly are a difference maker, and you know I really love how you opened up with there's there there were these turning points and these you know these forks in the road, and 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 we get these in our life, and you know you found a way to to move your life forward, you know with these turning points, and I just love how much you're you're giving to others, and you you, you really you really shared with listeners how you're using your life to make a difference in the world. I I just want to stay with that for a bit. And this is more for maybe a a message to your team, uh, a message to your audience, to your friends and, and just listeners globally. And, um, you know, you're using your life right now, both in real estate as well as an independent brand partner near and near him international. And, you know, you're feeling your passion for giving and making a difference in the world. So you've shared with us how you're making a difference. How can how can others just start making a difference? What are things they can start doing now, Lorianne? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I really believe each person um, has to look, you know, deep within and to have that moment, have that epiphany um, in their life, and really find what their passion is, what they're called to do. Um, I really feel like mine is giving and encouraging, um, loving, bringing joy to people's lives. Um, And when I am living those gifts, I feel like I'm soaring like an eagle at 30,000 feet. And it, it just brings me joy unspeakable. And I think if people will, um, just look deep within and find out what their passion is. I don't think they have to go very deep because when when you really think about it and what makes you cry, 
what makes you, what do you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and um, what's on your heart, what do you want to do with your life? Um, what is your passion and, and really what makes you cry, what brings tears to your eyes, and that is your passion. And just go out and live it. I think sometimes people um, think they look um, out at the world and it sometimes feels like a vast ocean of need out there and how could how could just my little smile or my gift of a certain amount of money or um, – or or anything that you have to give um, really kind of feels like a drop in the bucket. And it's really not because each one of us um, giving just that little bit um, just changes the world. In fact, um, there's a wonderful um, saying in the Jewish culture that says if you've blessed one person, you've blessed the world. And so I would just say to my team members and my friends and, and anybody listening to me, um, just go out and make a difference in this very moment. This is all we have. We don't have tomorrow and we don't have yesterday. We just have this one moment. And in this moment, um, just give. Give a hug, give a smile, give a thank you, um, you know, give that $5 or 100 or 10000 or whatever you're led to give, whatever that, um, that uh, whatever's in your heart, just to give it. And I promise you, you will make a difference. And just one person at a time, my goodness, if I could talk to the whole world, if I could tell 7 billion people this, um, we can make such a difference on this earth. We could turn it all around from a feeling of scarcity and lack to, a, to just truly living heaven on earth and living out of abundance um, because each of us does have a gift and has, that, has something to give. Um, and just find out what, dig deep inside and find out what that is and go out and give it and live it and don't waste a moment. Those are really great tips. I love those insights, Lorianne. And I, I really love that, you know, you, you, you share about finding your passion. And I love that you've tapped into that passion. And, you know, I love your tip around what makes you cry and gets you up at 2 o'clock in the morning and, and I just I truly love that you're that you found a way to live your gifts and you you've touched on this. I just want you to expand a bit more because it's very inspiring to me. And you know, and when I see you, you know, you're you're always full of smiles and <laughs> and you dance and uh when I certainly when I when I saw you just a few weeks ago you were you were twirling and dancing. How are you reaching out continually to inspire others around you, Lorianne? Oh my gosh. Um just really um just taking every moment when i when i meet someone when i talk to somebody on the phone um i'm very busy with um with our um our real estate company we own Cowell banker here in salem and have for the last 21 years and and um being a one star with miriam um international um and i just have so many people crossing my paths um, you know, daily and and every moment, and um, I just um, I just really want to inspire them to um, to be the best that they can be, and um, uh, find out what they're meant to give. Uh, I think that uh, sometimes people um, want to um, maybe be like somebody else. And, um, for instance, oh, gosh, I'd love to be like, you know, Jerry Visca, you know, <laughs> publisher of, of Definers Magazine, but, but it wouldn't be a good fit for me, I, as you well know. Um, I, it's, it's just not my gift. So I just, uh, I just want people to realize that, that just be the very best you can be because there's just no one on earth like you. You know, each of us have our own voice which like, is like a fingerprint, um, just like we have our fingerprints um, on our fingers and your voice is a fingerprint. And um, you're special. You're actually um, uh, a, um, 
um, a magnificent masterpiece of God, and you're individually, there's not, you know, they broke the mold when they made, when God made each person. So they have something that this world needs, and they have something to give, and I just want them to look deep within and just just soar, be themselves, do whatever it is that their heart is calling them to do. I can promise you we all need each other. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, if, if, um, if you don't live out that dream uh, and live out those gifts, the world is going to be without And so I would just encourage each person, oh, my gosh, just find out what your passion is. Um, Ask God, what what do you want me to do? What do you want me to, um, to, to, what do you want my legacy to be on this earth? And be the very best you can be. Go out and soar. I promise you it will be an incredible blessing to you. As you give and give, um, you will actually uh, end up getting even more back than you had uh, to begin with. I love that. I love how you share be the very best you can be. And it's another another reason why I'm so inspired by the energy of this profile, because you've really found a way to focus on unwrapping our special gifts. And I I think, you know, a lot of listeners, you know, listening in, you know, we're we're aware that we have these unique qualities, but I don't think we unwrap those gifts. And then that, that's what I love about your energy is that, you know, even though you're busy, I love how you balance your real estate business and, you know, your leadership in Miriam International, but you're still living those those special gifts. And I think that's extraordinary. So, Lorian, you know, you've seen you've seen the energy of the world, you're seeing things transform and you know, I like how you speak of of the ripple effect. You know, why does the world need everyday difference makers now more than ever? Oh my goodness. Um I think um I, you know, I look at the world and I I think, you know, things are um, kind of dark out there. Um, uh, And I think the more light that we can shine on this world and really living out uh, heaven on earth and bringing joy to people's lives and bringing a smile, um, it, it just, it just doesn't take much, and um, just um, giving whatever whatever thing you have, and again, you know, whether it's a smile or whether it's a gift or whether it's a thank you card or, or financially helping a charity or a ministry uh, be a better place, um, you know, we're just, you know, I don't even watch the news, um, mm. but the, the few things that have come across my path, and you see just, just, just horrible things going on and and if I can just bless one person today um, and I hope you know hundreds of people cross my path each day that I can be a blessing to each one and I think if each one of us would do that I really think that we would just be such a shining light in this world and um, and and just really turn this um, that kind of a scarcity mentality around and really just live out of abundance um, and giving what we have. I, I just think we could just bring joy to this world, and I think we need it more than ever. Extraordinary. I believe you will bless seven billion souls, Lorianne. I just oh, I want I, I really do so. keep soaring, soaring like an eagle. You know, we see you. We see you in the sky, and it's a glorious sight. And I'm really honored as a publisher of Definers to, to share with the world your your special gifts. So pages 38 and 39, I'm so inspired. Unwrap your gifts with Lori Ann Rogers from Salem, Oregon. I'm so inspired by this profile. And just on behalf of Definers and everyday people doing extraordinary, extraordinary things worldwide, I want to thank you for being a part of this energy and and sharing your gifts and unwrapping your gifts to share with the world, Lorianne. Thank you so much. Oh, Jerry, thank you so much. And thank you for blessing me so abundantly today. I just love and appreciate you. 